So now I'm going to start talking about the semi-infinite approximation for uh, certain cases of unsteady diffusion. So here we have um, a solute diffusing out into this space here and the solute <coughs> has uh, at this point at time equals zero this has a uh, concentration equal to C1 and then um, and at this spot right here, it's always going to, the concentration will always equal to C1, and the uh, solute will diffuse out into this space here. Initially, this area here has a concentration of C0, and at all times, as x approaches infinity, uh, the concentration has to remain at C0. At the surface um, of the interface between this bulk area and uh, where our solute is presented, we'll uh, start the coordinate system there with x equals zero. So what's going to happen is this concentration is going to diffuse out to the right and um, and what makes this a semi-infinite situation is that no matter what happens as this moves over since at, uh, as x approaches infinity this concentration uh, will always equal the initial concentration since, since it's really really far away from the diffusing source and that's what gives it the semi-infinite um, name. But when does this really ever happen in the body or really anywhere? When do we have some a situation where uh, there is a uh, something uh, going to infinity? Well, that's not really going to be the case, but um, we can still think of things that are going to be really, really far away from the source of diffusion and that the concentration really won't change. Um, and this is really at, like short times. Um, when this is first like a drug patch is put on the person's arm um, or in the back, um, at really short times that diffusing molecule hasn't really reached very far into the tissue so um, uh, deeper into the tissue it will remain uh, concentration C not whatever was originally there. So really in short times in short diffusion uh, distances we can approximate um, an unsteady diffusion case in a finite media as being a semi-infinite um, situation. Um, there's a certain uh, easy rule to this and that is when the time is less than L squared divided by 36 dij the semi-infinite approximation is valid in a finite medium. Um, so again this uh, L squared will be the uh, the half thickness of um, tissue or whatever it may be diffusing into um, and uh, and that's one quick and easy test to see if this approximation will work for a uh, finite media um, so again when we try to think a little bit more into what's going on in the finite medium is um, say for instance we have a piece of tissue with uh, this total length here is L and you have say your drug patch here and over time um, once the uh, these two are connected to one another and the interface is met and the concentration uh, or the drug sorry the solute starts to diffuse out into the skin for instance then you'll see that this uh, the concentration of course will be the greatest right there at the interface it'll be equal to C1 at 0 at x equals 0 and then um, over time this concentration will grow more and more that goes to the right so once the point the point that when at x equals L when the concentration reaches one percent of that original concentration C1 at that point that means there's enough concentration throughout the whole tissue um, to say that the semi-infinite approximation would not be valid because that concentration has has reached all the way over here to this side of the tissue um, and we don't have that situation anymore to where the initial concentration uh, C naught is still remaining at x equals infinity because this would be considered what you would think of x equals infinity but now the concentration's actually changed um, so we couldn't use this semi-infinite method when you had this time and again this would happen in longer times and greater diffusion distances and that's how why we have this um, uh, T less than L squared divided by 36 Dij is our limiting factor when we can use semi-infinite approximations. So the semi-infinite approximation um, 
is governed by fixed second law. Here we have it in uh, rectangular coordinates. Uh, again, this is a partial differential equation. Concentration is dependent on two variables, time and position. Uh, for this situation, we can uh, look, look at the initial condition. Uh, again, time is less than equal to zero. Um, and x is greater than equal to zero out here. All the time, the concentration has to equal to c. It's going to be equal to c naught, the initial concentration. Uh, one of the boundary conditions at time greater than or equal to zero is again at this interface right here, and the concentration always at this point is going to be equal to c one. The other boundary condition is going to be out here at x approaches affinity, and like I said before, the concentration at this point always has to be equal to c naught the original concentration. So these are our governing equation and the boundary conditions. And you know, since this is a partial differential equation, it's a little bit tougher to solve than ordinary differential equations. So one way we can look at this and to make this a little bit easier to solve, we'll be able to transform this partial differential equation into an ordinary differential equation. And one way we can do that is to look at these terms and to put concentration and time and position into uh, dimension, uh, non-dimensionalized terms using dimensionless variables.